and welcome back. Uh, today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different. Hi, guys, too. <laughs> Hi. Sydney's playing with blocks. Um, so I vlogged, Sydney was on Memorial Day break uh, for about a week. Uh, she goes back to school tomorrow, so the day that you guys are watching this, she has been off of school. So it's been go, 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 and I have vlogged our little like school break, vacation, not vacation, but school break. Um, and I realized, I went to go edit this morning, and I realized I like hardly ever talked face to face like vlog style to the camera i just filmed what we did so it's going to be a little bit of like voiceover um voiceover music we were so, i feel like we were so busy because we slept until 9 a.m both of us this morning i'm exhausted so she is going into her last month of school she's done at the end of june wild to me like it's mind-blowing how fast school went I feel like I just got into a rhythm like last month and then I was thrown off a little bit like again I never really got into a rhythm um, of filming and posting and and doing like housework and motherhood and like balancing it all um, so I had just asked over on Instagram um, I just put up a poll if you guys prefer set upload days for YouTube I'm thinking ahead for the summer um, that I need I need to find some structure. There was a period of time in the very beginning when I filmed, I uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And even though it was a lot of work, um, I was able to get into a groove. Like I knew exactly which days I was uploading and, and usually I, I hit those marks. Of course, ever since then, life has gotten a lot busier you know you have to post a little bit more on instagram or i do post a little bit more Insta on instagram and then um if i'm having sponsorships those take you know some can take up to like a week for them to get approved um so putting that into the mix is a little bit more challenging as far as upload schedules go but I think I need one. I think you guys, I mean, I don't know. You can let me in the, know in the comments down below. And then also, um, it looks like 90, the polls at 90% who want an upload schedule. Um, and just figuring out what days that would be. I'm, I'm thinking like a Tuesday, Thursday upload schedule. Anyway, I'm blabbing at this point, like I said so many times. I wanted to do a formal introduction to the vlog since, like I said, I barely talk vlog style to the camera. I filmed what we did. We had an exciting visit to Booth Bay and went to the Botanical Gardens and found all of the huge wooden trolls, which was such a fun day. I went with my mom and a family friend of ours. Um, we went to the beach, made some macaroni salad, and I planted my seeds out in their permanent spot. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to take you guys along on our school break and get into the swing of things. I cannot, cannot believe summer, kindergarten. Sydney has her kindergarten screening in a few days. It's wild. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna stop blabbing now. Comment down below if you guys prefer an upload schedule, what days you watch YouTube. I'm thinking Tuesday, Thursday. But if that's like totally, be, totally not, you guys don't like those days, you don't watch YouTube those days, let me know. But if those days work, I think that's, I think that may be what we'll go for. I need structure. So I mentioned in a previous vlog that I wanted to start sharing a little bit more of Maine places um, for tourist reasons and just uh, in case you guys are interested, take you around Maine and kind of explore more places to go, where to eat and things like that. Um, so this day we ended up going to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. It's a coastal coastal town in Maine, pretty popular uh, tourist spot as well. Um, and we ended up going to the coastal Maine Botanical Gardens. They have these giant trees 
trolls made out of wood and lots of recycled material uh, hidden within their gardens and their woods that we wanted to go explore. Um, so I went with my mom, family, friend, and Sydney, of course. We ate lunch at Wharf Street, which is uh, just one of those restaurants downtown. We had a beautiful view. This is the view that we got to look at the whole time we were eating. Sydney was coloring and she ate a giant burger. I had chicken sandwich. They have, of course, fish, fish and chips and whatnot. We had the most beautiful day uh, exploring and walking. Um, we are on a little adventure today. Go ahead. It's so awkward filming uh, in front of people. <laughs> My own family. Um, we are in Booth Bay um, and we're going to go do the botanical gardens like a uh, troll hunting thing. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Um, so we're going to go on a little like walking hike situation and find some huge wooden trolls. Uh, we just went and ate on the water a little bit and just kind of like did the touristy thing. And yeah, so I'm going to take you along. Okay, my kid's up ahead. She wants to find the next, next troll. <gasps> I see it. Sydney, where are we? botanical gardens all in all took about a couple of hours we were leisurely you know looking at the flowers and they had all kinds of little like play stations I would call them for kids like outdoor play stations adorable so cute so if you're within the area I would highly recommend checking them out uh, we were about an hour and a half away but I would say it was still worth it especially because we made a whole day out of it we had lunch and then after the botanical gardens of course we had to stop and get some ice cream and these were massive ice creams I ordered a kitty size for Sydney and it was just massive but we had a wonderful wonderful day 
Sydney has been asking for me to make her some banana bread or banana muffins for a couple of weeks now, ever since she saw a classmate bring in banana bread at school. So I took this opportunity to make some banana muffins, which I found the recipe right on Pinterest. And Sydney, of course, helped slash basically did this on her own. I just measured the ingredients and we popped in some pecans because she wanted some nuts in them and they turned out delicious. I love having muffins on hand for breakfast, snack, and I pop them in the freezer and they are just good as new when you heat them up in the microwave for just a little bit. So love uh, portioning out some muffins for future. Wow, <gasps> it is growing. Gotta water them before the heat and the sun. It's a little windy, huh? Yeah, but it's still nice out. It is. Memorial Day was one of the most beautiful days. It got up to, I think, 88 in town, which is unheard of this time of year, especially coastal Maine. Uh, don't worry, we are back in the high 50s, low 60s as of today when I am filming this voiceover. But it's nice to have those couple of like sunny, hot days to kind of like boost our spirits. It does play with my emotions though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I started out the day, of course, like watering all the plants and the seeds um, and decided to make Sydney a little mango banana smoothie, smoothie to ma have while she was coloring outside on the deck. Just again, mm -hmm. like we take as much advantage of a the little bit warm thick. sunshine as it's possible. A mango, Drinking orange, coffee outside in the banana morning, smoothie. coloring, playing, and just outside. Um, basically all day long and this day we also went to the beach and I planted these seeds I transferred so them easy. from their little like seed pots up into my raised flower bed where I usually grow my herbs this year I only had basil and dill that grew my chives I tried twice chives for some reason just did not sprout for me I don't know if they're finicky or if I just don't know what I'm doing which is very possible I'm still tired when I wake up Like my dreams still near Snooze by of my best friend now Get me away from here I got plans, I got things to do Gotta do my hours, do my hours Why is everything so damn hard? Gray skies and rain clouds I postpone everything Worrying about stupid things Start living So believe it or not, I have never made a macaroni salad, just straight up like mayonnaise based macaroni salad before. So I was really craving it. It's one of my favorite go-to uh, like barbecue foods or side dishes. So I went ahead and made my own. I found a recipe on Pinterest that I kind of followed. Um, I didn't follow the exact measurements for the dressing, but ingredient wise and just kind of eyeballed it uh, myself. So I used some cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers celery I think olives what else did I put in there I'm not quite sure lots of like crunchy veggies in there um, and then as far as the dressing goes it was mayo a little bit of sugar 
pickle juice, sour cream, a little bit of mustard, um, salt and pepper, paprika, I think garlic powder. I'm not quite sure. I will link the recipe down below. I think it was going to be delicious, but when I eyeballed it, I definitely did not make enough. So it like absorbed into the noodles and it wasn't as creamy. Um, and like there wasn't as much dressing as usually is on a macaroni salad. It was good. Don't get me wrong, but it definitely could have been better. Um, I definitely love like my family's macaroni salad and I need to get my mom's recipe for that. Oh, of course, hard boiled eggs. I, how could I forget? That's like a staple in there. Finally ready to go to the beach. We have our bathing suit on, beach cover up on, food packed, stuffed animals packed. I put them in there. <laughs> Are we ready? Do we have everything? Uh, and then we have the chair in the car. All right, so we made it to the beach. It is very busy. High tide is just going down. So it looks like we made perfect timing. I'm excited and I'm starving. Hopefully the macaroni salad is delicious because that is my lunch, our lunch. We ended up spending about three and a half hours at the beach um, and this was one of the first times we wore bathing suits to the beach because it was in the 80s but the water was still absolutely freezing there was no way I could have gone in there um, and then Sydney met a couple of little friends her age and it was adorable because kids are like little magnets and they just want to play with everyone and it's just the sweetest so she met a couple of friends I got to talk with some other moms and it was just a wonderful Wonderful, wonderful day. We ended it by burying her in the sand. Of course, you can't have a beach day without playing in the sand. You're buried! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, are you gonna crash out of it? <laughs> Ready? Set? Go! Crash out of it! Come on! Break out! I hope you guys enjoyed our week in our life vlog of school break. We had so much fun. I need to sleep for five days straight. Cindy does too, I think. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one.